hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be making this beautiful short dress i'll be working on the skirt part of this dress first my fabric is already folded into four make sure the width is wide enough to take your hip measurements and the allowance you'll be adding to it so because i'll be working on the skirt part first i'm going to minus the length of the half length i'll be using first of all i'm going to roll out this straight line as my starting line then i'm going to minus 15 inches from it because that will be the length of my half length so i'm going to minus to 15 inches and i'm going to take the length of this dress the length i'll be making use of is 32 inches i'm going to mark it down and i'm going to roll a straight line across the dot i made so the way i folded this fabric the back piece is the one down and the front is the one on it that is my zipper allowance so ignoring the zipper allowance from the front piece i'll start taking my body measurements so on the starting line i'm going to mark down my waist measurements divided by four plus two inches seam allowance then for my waist to my hip is nine inches which i just marked down then i'm going to roll out a straight line across the dot i made then on that line i'm going to take my hip measurements divided by four plus two inches seam allowance also then at the bottom on the length of the skirt i'm going to minus I'm going to minus one inch for my hip measurement and I'm going to mark it down there. Then I'm going to connect all the dots together. Now I'm going to cut out the excess part of the fabric and I'm going to notch the center of the front piece. So from the length of this dress, I did not cut out the excess fabric of 3 inches. So I'm just going to notch the length where the length of my gown is, the 33 inches I marked. I'm going to notch that part. Then the excess fabric that is remaining, I'm going to fold it in with my lining. To get my data at the top of the fabric, I'm going to mark down my nipple to nipple measurements divided by 2. That is my bust pan. So I'm going to notch that part. I'm going to put all the fabric together, both the front and the back. And I'm going to notch that part so I'll be able to trace it when I'm sewing it. So that's it for the dart. On my zipper allowance, I came out by half an inch from the bottom and I connected it to the top like this. This is the fabric I'll be using for the half length. It's already folded into four. Make sure the width is wide enough to take your bust measurements and the allowance you'll be adding to it. The back piece is the one down with my zipper allowance while the front is on it. So ignoring the zipper allowance, I'll start taking my measurements. On the top of the fabric, I'm going to mark down my shoulder measurements divided by two. Then I'm going to minus 1.5 inches for my shoulder measurement, which I got. 6.5 inches so i marked down 6.5 inches at the top for my shoulder because this is an off shoulder gown i'm going to be minusing 5 inches from the top before taking my measurement so for my shoulder to my chest line is 8 inches which i just marked down then for my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches which i also just marked down then the half length for my shoulder to my waistline is 14 inches plus the one inch i'll be adding to it as my seam allowance so making the half length 15 inches so i'm going to roll out a straight line across all the dots i've made on my chest line i'm going to mark down my bust measurements divided by four plus two inches seam allowance then i'm going to connect the bust measurements on the chest line to my shoulder measurements like this so the width of my shoulder line is 6.5 inches so i'm going to come down by one inch for the depth of my neckline then i'm going to connect it to my shoulder line like this
On my waist line, I'm going to mark down my waist measurements divided by 4 plus 2 inches seam allowance. Then I'm going to connect it to my bust measurements on my chest line like this. So I'm going to cut out the excess part of this fabric. For the dart, I'm going to take my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2. Then I'm going to mark it down. So I'm going to notch that point that I marked down so I'll be able to identify the dart on my fabric. This is the adjustment I'll be making on my zipper allowance. I'm going to be going up by 1 inch on the zipper allowance. Then I'm going to trace my dart up because i'll be cutting that part out so i'm going to take my ruler and connect the one inch to the other side of the fabric like this in a slanted way then i'm going to cut that part out and we notch my dots So this is what I have for the half length. When I open the front piece up, this is what it's looking like and the back is splitted into two. So I went ahead to cut out a lining piece for the skirt part of this dress. You can see the length of the lining is stopping at the actual length of this dress. So I'm going to open up my fabric like this. The right side of the fabric is the one on top and I'm going to place the lining on the right side of the fabric. Then I'm going to sew it from the from the bottom on the on a straight line. I'll start joining from the bottom, even the back even the back piece of the skirt is splitted into two. I have two linings for it also. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to join them from the bottom before joining the sides. I also did the same thing for the half length. These are the lining piece for the back. The back is splitted into two, so I have two lining for it. I'm going to join the neckline area, the armhole and the sides, but I'm not going to join the bottom. Even the front also, even the front piece of the half length, this is what it's looking like when I open it up and this is the lining piece. So I'm going to join the neckline area i'm going to join the arm or and the sides together but i'm not going to touch the bottom as well and i'm going to turn it over to the right side so i'm done joining the lining piece and i went ahead to take in my darts for both sides so this is the back the two back and this is the front piece i took in the darts for the front piece as well and this is what i have so before taking the dart, I top stitched both the bottom of the front and the back piece. So this is the front piece of the skirt part of this dress. I've gone ahead to join the lining piece to it and I turned it to the right side. I top stitched the top and this is what I have. This is the back also. I did the same thing for the back. So you can see that I drew in the 3 inches allowance I added to the bottom with my lining piece and this is what I presently have. I did the same thing for the front and all the and the back piece as well. So this is what I have before I join my my half length to my front piece I'm going to take in the darts for both sides of it after taking the darts I'm going to join it together on a straight line like this so I'm done taking in the darts and I join them together I make sure both the darts for the down part and the front part is matching I did the same thing for the back and I added my zipper to it so this is what I have I'm going to place the two right sides of the fabric on each other like this and I'm going to take my body measurements on both sides of the dress on on the top i'm going to take my bust measurements on my chest line then on my waist i'm going to take my waist measurements and on the hip part i'm going to take my hip measurements this is the fabric i'll be using for the sleeves of this dress the length is 31 inches it's folded into two when i open it up the width is 11 inches so you can increase the length of the sleeve to as much as you want it depends on how full you want your sleeves to look 
so i'm going to aim this fabric round i'm going to aim the sides the up and the down parts after the aiming this is what i have i'm going to fold the fabric into two equal parts like this so when i fold the two fabric into two equal parts this is what i have so at the top of the fabric after it, i folded it into two i'm going to fold it like this also as well and i'm going to top stitch it to the end of the fabric in order to create a channel for an elastic band to pass through it's folded into two and i folded it over like this and i'm going to run a straight stitch on it to the end of the fabric So I'm done creating the channel on the fabric and this is what the fabric is presently looking like. This is the elastic band I'll be passing through the channel. The length of this elastic band is 8 inches. So I'm going to pass it through the, through the channel with this pin like this. So I'm going to pass it through the channel then I'm going to stitch both sides of the of the fabric after passing the elastic band through it to secure the elastic band inside it. So I'm done with the sleeves and this is what I have. So I'm done closing up both sides of the dress and this is what it's presently looking like. So I'm going to bring in the sleeves that I'll be using. So I'm going to place the right side of the sleeve of, on the right side of the of the main dress like this and i'm going to pin it to this part of it like this i'm going to pin the sleeves like this to this part and i'm going to stitch it down then i'm going to take it to the back also then i'm going to place the right side of the sleeve on the back as well and i'm going to pin it down after i pin it down i'm going to sew it to i'm going to stitch it to it also and i'm going to do the same thing for the other sleeve as well so with this we have come to the end of this video I hope this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel if you're not yet a subscriber now see you guys in my next video